Welcome back to One Comic Book a Day, where we're covering Superman issue 83, Destination X. This is a story that starts off pretty grandiose and then ends pretty weakly. We're still having trouble in the 50s with ending a Superman story with any sort of actual panache. They all kind of go off in a slow death. It's fascinating for a superhero who can basically do most things and could end something very excitingly with his powers, but they just kind of end to not being particularly all that interesting, mostly like Superman showing up and grabbing people. Even Spider-Man can do it a little more excitingly by using his webs to pull on people to grab them. Okay, something has caused a lot of monuments to disintegrate. A ray from space seems to be hitting them. And then some sort of golden orb comes down and demands Superman. Superman has to get inside the golden orb to go help whatever the aliens that need his help. Or else they'll keep destroying monuments. At no point do we see Superman try to stop one of these monuments from exploding or investigate them, which is actually the more important part to that. You see, this is all a plan by a criminal genius slash scientist, not the good one, Luther, but a guy calling himself the Brain. Not to be confused with the Brain we had some issues before, with the guy who created different suits to give to guys so they can all together equal one Superman. Not that brain. He had a bigger head. No, it's a different guy calling himself the brain. You see, the ray was just a trick. He just planted dynamite in these monuments. See, Superman, this is why you need to actually investigate because it would be pretty clear it was dynamite. Except none of the dynamite seemed to create an explosion. Everything just crumbled when the light hit it. Some really impressive dynamite with a weak explosion that does way more damage. I guess less damage, the explosion doesn't really shoot anything out if it's crumbling. And Superman is actually just floating around the Sahara because the golden orb is both made of lead and full of kryptonite in its lining, so Superman can't just break out. Or at least that's what we think, because they commit a crime to make millions of dollars only for Superman to show up and grab them. And that's basically the end of the story. We get a flashback about what happened in Superman and this is a little more impressive, but we've already sort of dealt with the story, which felt pretty passive for a climax, only for Superman to just mention offhand that he breathed in like nitrogen and was able to create acid in his mouth and shoot it out. Now, that's interesting. We should have focused more on that and not have it told in a panel as an afterthought. So for a story that started off with what, with what seemingly seemed like aliens destroying monuments and Superman being grabbed and unable to escape, it just sort of ends just because Superman needs to end it once again. It's also really sad because like rays hitting monuments or creating disasters was something that's happened before with both Luther and um, a villain who was once a month villain, the villain of the week, as you might want to call it her villain of the month. Uh, managed to do this before. So it's weird that we have the fake out when we've seen the actual story before. Okay, that is it from Superman 83, Destination X. Just the Sahara Desert. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon to get notification when a new video goes up. I do this Monday through Friday, but Friday is Bat Friday where I cover a Batman story in either Detective Comics or Batman. And until next time, let's ponder the question whatever did happen to the Man of Tomorrow. And seriously, where did he get all this kryptonite? I was under the impression that there wasn't a lot of kryptonite on the planet. Okay, have a great day.